chaplains, men and women who represent their own particular faith or religious tradition, but because they work mostly in public settings, are trained to be of comfort and support for everyone, religious or not. There have been chaplains on the battlefield for centuries. Today, the battlefield can be anywhere people face danger, darkness, or despair, or where people simply seek a spiritual voice in a time of need. Nobody really needs the chaplain until you really need the chaplain. What a chaplain does is leans in to the painful places. I am a rabbi by faith, but I'm a chaplain by trade. I can encourage her, I can call her, I can pray for her, but I can't fix it. So really as a chaplain, you're out there, you're with the soldiers, you're with the troops, wherever they are. When you're in such a competitive environment such as we are, you can be afraid to talk because you don't want to appear to be weak. I think families tend often to be very angry with God. We felt that there was like a wall in between the police department and the Muslim community. So I am the pastor for approximately 7,000 people who make up the Senate side of Capitol Hill. In many ways, they look like a social worker. They're, they're helping people solve life's problems. Pastor, social worker, counselor, bridge builder. Chaplaincy today is an emerging profession that struggles to define itself as it faces challenges on many fronts. But chaplains offer a window into how to view religion faith and spirituality in a religiously diverse America that values the separation of church and state, even though exactly what that means is not always clear. Thank you. Um, I, I was thinking as I was watching all these clips go by all this evening, how this impossible task that we always have to try and tell stories about where you, usually your central character is God. I was thinking, I started this work 30 years ago, and that was one of my first fears. I'm going to be doing stories where the central character more often than not is God, and you can't interview him. So all we have left is to tell these other stories of people who express their faith in different ways. And to me, I thought that uh, the chaplains really, you know, we've done so many films over the years, but these people really did inspire me. I mean, to see how they live out their lives in these places, how they live their faith articulately and live it in a situation where they can be working together right next to other people of different faiths and yet show us all as an example what it really does mean to pr practice your faith, to believe in it, and yet honor the faith of others. And so for me, I think I want, walked away after two, almost two years of making the film more inspired than ever before. And I'm, I just want to say on behalf of everybody who worked on this film, thank you. Thank you.